Welcome to a video 2 on trial and improvement. This is a video working through the trial and improvement exam questions that have come up in the AQA higher paper. Um, you should have watched video 1, a tutorial on trial and improvement, and have a revision card and be confident of the techniques. I'm going to show you uh, the two exam questions that have come up in the higher paper. Pause the video each time, have a go, check your setting out your workings perfectly, and then I'll go through each of the answers. So take a look at this first question. I will start talking again in about 10 seconds and work through the answers, but you pause the video, have a go yourself. Here's question one. Okay, I'm gonna go through this question now. Um, again, it was it was a very standard question. Use trial and improvement and find a solution to this equation to one decimal place. They've been really nice in this exam question. They've given you four marks for this and they've done the table for you and they've also even tried the first x value. So, remember I said in the tutorial, step one is to find two consecutive numbers. One's too high, one's too low. Obviously, the, be the best choice now would be to try x's. Four. And if you on your calculator work out 4 cubed plus uh, 2 times 4, you would get 72. And that's too high. So we've found our too high and too low. Let's go for a, a number to one decimal place now. Um, I'm not really sure where to go, which one's closer, so I'm going to start at 3.5 and let's see where we go. If we do 3.5 cubed plus uh, 2 times 3.5, we actually get the answer about 49.8, which is too low. So we want to try uh, 3.6. So we're trying to find consecutive decimals now where one's too high and one's too low. If we do that, We get about 53.9. We get about 53.9. Again, too low. So it looks like 3.7 is going to take us too high. Let's have a look. We get ourselves uh, 58.1 about, which is too high now. So now we've found our consecutive numbers, 3.6 and 3.7. One's too low, one's too high. I said always try the number in between. So we're going to try uh, 3.65. And we get ourselves the answer, 55.9. We get 55.9, which is slightly too low. Remember, I said draw ourselves a little picture. What's happening to describe what's happening? Well, 3.6 was low, 3.7 was high, and when we went halfway in between 3.65, it was slightly low. So the answer must be slightly closer to 3.7. So we write x is equal to 3.7 to one decimal place. And we've done that first question. Okay, now there's another past paper question that's come up in the AQA higher uh, unit three paper. Take a look. Uh, pause the video, have a work through yourself, and like the last one, I'll go through the answers before. So uh, I'll show you it, and in 10 seconds, I'll start talking again. You pause the video. Okay, so you should have had a go yourself by now. Uh, another very standard question, Jordan, Jordan's using trial and improvement to find the solution to the equation x cubed minus 5x is equal to 30. They've drawn the table out for you. They ask you to use trial and improvement to find your answer to one decimal place. Again, uh, really kind, done the first bit of working for you. So when they put in 3 into that equation, they got 12, which was too small. I'm going to obviously try 4 now. So I'm working out 4 cubed minus 5 times 4 on my calculator. And I'm getting 44 when I do that, which is too high. So I'm going to go high. Now I found consecutive numbers, one too small, one too high, uh, too much. So I'm going to go somewhere in between. 
Um, it looks like it it might be slightly closer to four, but I'm not sure. Let's let's just try three point six. Let's see if that's any good to us. So we work out three point six cubed minus five times three point six, and we get twenty eight point seven. So we get twenty eight point seven, which is small. So let's try 3.7 now. So we do 3.7 cubed minus 5 times 3.7. And this time we're going to get about 32.2, which is high. And we found two consecutive one decimal place numbers. One's too small, one's too high, which is excellent. That's what we want. Now we try a number to two decimal places that's in between the two, 3.65. On our calculator, 3.65 cubed minus 5 times 3.65 and we get 30.4 30.4 and this is slightly high so as always draw yourself a little picture what's happening at each stage well at 3.6 we were low at 3.7 we were high and at halfway in between at 3.65 we were high so the answer must be slightly closer to 3.6 so we write x is equal to 3.6 to one decimal place. And we've got ourselves a very straightforward four marks in the higher paper. Okay, thank you for listening. I hope you found the following useful. Uh, now I would suggest you move on to a new tutorial topic, get yourself a revision card and try the past paper questions on that. So thanks for listening and um, move on to the next video.